When it comes to starting a Minecraft server, Paper is probably the Minecraft server software that you want to go with. The reason being, with Paper you can add plugins to your server, but in addition to that, you also get better performance with your server, meaning less lag and things like that with the same hardware that you might lag with on a vanilla or a modded Minecraft server. So in this video, let's go ahead and get a Paper server started. Now, first things first, I do want to mention this is not a public server. It's only going to be up and running when your computer is up and running. It also uses your own internet connection, meaning you need a decent internet connection. Connection. And while paper does perform better, and a lot of times you can host a paper server when you're struggling with other types of servers, it does still require decent hardware to run, especially as you add more plugins and players to the server. So with all that being said, what if you want to host a public server? What if you don't have to worry about the server's hardware? What if you don't even want to have to worry about your internet connection? Just basically, all you want to do is start the server, maybe add some plugins, and then just let your friends join it and you join it just like any other Minecraft server. Well, that's where our sponsor, Apex Minecraft Hosting, comes in. Go to the first link in the description down below, the breakdown to the XYZ slash Apex to get a paper server up and running in under five minutes. On top of that, your friends will be able to join it as soon as you set it up and you can quickly and easily add plugins as well. So again, go check out Apex in the first link in the description down below. The breakdown to XYZ slash Apex to start very own Minecraft server. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and get paper up and running on your own computer if you don't, for whatever reason, want to use Apex. So let's go ahead and go to this page. This is our in-depth text tutorial for getting paper. We go over how to cover some issues. There's also tons of links in the description down below that you should go check out on how to get Java and various other things if you do need assistance during this process. If something doesn't work, there's probably a link in the description that will help you fix it. But nevertheless, let's go ahead and click on the yellow download paper MC button here, and that will take us to paper's official download page. Here you want to go ahead and select paper, and then once you're here, you want to find the 1.19.4 version. For us, it's automatically selected. You may need to scroll down here, click the build explorer, and download it from this page, but right now we can just click paper right here. Then download them again. You may need a keeper or save the file depending on your browser. That's perfectly normal. Then once we minimize our browser, what we actually want to do is go ahead and create a new folder on our desktop. So right click, create a new folder. You can name it so whatever you want. I'm going to name it paper 1.19.4 server because, well, this is a paper 1.19.4 server. And then you want to go ahead and open this up and in here, we want to drag and drop our paper file we downloaded into this folder. So where is it at? Well, for me, it's in my downloads folder, which can be accessed on the left-hand side here. Then we can drag and drop this again from our downloads folder to our desktop and into that folder we created. Right now, this should be the only thing that's in here. Yours may or may not say .jar, and that's perfectly fine. But what we want to do is go ahead and right-click on it and rename it to say paper, just paper. Now yours may be just paper if it doesn't have the .jar, or if you do have .jar, that's fine. Leave it as is. Just replace whatever text was there with paper, and you'll be good to go. So now what we want to do is go ahead and right-click and create a new text document. Now you can name this whatever you want and open it up. In the new text document, you want to go to the description down below, and there will be two codes. There's these two right here, and as you can see, this one's for two gigabytes, this one's for four gigabytes. We're going to go ahead and use the two gigabyte one, so copy this from the description and paste it in this new text document. Then go ahead and click File, Save As, and we want to go ahead and make sure the save type is All Files, and the file name is run.bat. So save type as, All Files, and file name run.bat. Click Save. Boom, there we go. We can close out of this. And now we have this new run.bat file. The file type should be a Windows batch file. Now we go ahead and double click on this. It will go ahead and attempt to start the server, but it will fail. It will, though, in the background, generate a bunch of files and folders. If this doesn't work, you need Java, and the links to get Java are in the description down below. But nonetheless, as you can see, it has failed. We can go ahead and press any key to continue. And now what we want to do is open this eula.txt file that generated. So we open this up, and in here we want to change eula equals false to eula equals true, assuming that we agree to the Minecraft eula, which we do. So eula equals true, file, save, good to go. And now we can double click on the run.bat file. This means that our server is now starting right on up and we have created a paper server. Now at this point, you can join your server, but if you want your friends to join, you will need to port forward. Luckily, there's an in-depth guide in the description down below on exactly how to do this. It's got a video, it's got a text guide. It is super in-depth and covers everything you need to know when it comes to port forwarding for a Minecraft server. Also in the description is a link to a video on how to fix different server issues, but at this point, if you just want to test to see if your server is working, go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher, launch into 1.19.4, and then you can join your server. Right now, you're the only person. For your friends to join, you need to port forward, 
but let's go ahead and show you that you can in fact join this server and then we're good to go. So for you to join your server, just click on multiplayer, direct connection, and then let's go ahead and type in local host. Hit enter and you're gonna be able to join your server right like so. However, for your friends to join, again, you will need to port forward. And then after you port forward, it's covered in here. You will need to get your public IP address and give that to them for them to join. But nevertheless, that's how you can make a paper server. You can now add plugins to it. And if you wanna see how to do that, be sure to check out the video that's on your screen right now. It goes over exactly how to add plugins to this very server. So go check that out to get plugins and uh, yeah, we'll see you over there. Peace.